TCO stands for Total Cost of Ownership and is a calculation of the initial purchase price of an asset plus all the direct and indirect costs associated with the asset over its entire life cycle. It's often used by business decision makers to gauge the viability of any capital investment and can be used as a comparison tool when choosing between alternative solutions. This webinar examines the factors that determine a complete assessment of the TCO of X-ray and fat analysis machinery for meat and poultry processing, prepared foods production, and packaged foods manufacturing to help processors and CPG companies decide which machinery will provide better value in the long term. In deciding whether to invest in an X-ray and or fat analysis machine, managers in the food and CPG industries must consider a variety of factors beyond the outright purchase price of the machine. Such factors include a manufacturer's production line layout, number of daily shifts, processing environment, throughput rates, operator training, and maintenance. By taking a complete view that encompasses several production realities, including the plant environment, employee operation, sanitation, maintenance, servicing costs, upgrades, and system lifetime, the TCO model allows the total and true cost of owning an X-ray and or FA system to be calculated. This allows decision makers to gauge the value of a specific piece of equipment and can help when comparing different solutions. The metaphor of an iceberg is often used to break down TCO. The tip of the iceberg is defined as the cost of hardware and software with installation, calibration, and shipping costs sitting on the water's surface. Below the surface, additional costs include the cost of servicing and running equipment, upgrades and downtime, spare parts, and replacement parts. When defining TCO for X-ray and FA machines, it's important to consider the cost of the machine, modification to the existing production line, installation, calibration, shipping, and software. In addition, it's important to also consider the estimated life of the machine, yearly running costs, machine availability, uptime, time to conduct a product changeover, sanitation cycle time, preventive maintenance frequency and service costs, normal wear parts and consumable items, anticipated spare parts usage and on-site inventory needed, and future machine hardware and software upgrades. TCO can be determined by asking and answering several key questions. First, it's important to calculate how much it costs to buy a system and how often components should be replaced. It's also important to gain answers to the following questions. How easy is it to clean the equipment and how long does it take? How many preventive maintenance PM, routines are needed annually? Can you perform the PM routines or does the manufacturer need to do it? What's the skill level of the operators? How long do the belts last? How long does the generator last? How many false rejects do you currently get? What kind of training is offered by the vendor? By answering these questions, performance is easier to gauge. Performance is inherent in a determination of TCO. A machine that offers greater precision will help to boost reliability and uptime. High performance, efficient equipment helps a CPG or meat and poultry processor make products at a lower cost for higher profitability. For X-ray inspection and FA machines, processors and CPG companies should consider several variables that comprise a complete view of TCO. These are running cost, service costs and spare parts, food safety engineering, estimated life of the machine, performance and technology, ease of use, downtime risks, and footprint and integration. The yearly running cost of an X-ray or FA machine must be considered in the TCO analysis and is based on power and time. In addition, if the machine requires water or compressed air to be supplied for normal operation, the cost of supplying these should also be included. Running costs and uptime inherently involve maintenance and sanitation. Meat and poultry processors and other food manufacturers often conduct cleaning regimens multiple times a day. 
an installation with frequent washdown, caustic cleaning solutions, and arduous cleaning techniques can lead to more downtime and a greater impact on the machine, along with an increased need for maintenance. X-ray and FA machines are available which are designed for easy breakdown for sanitation by one person, alleviating downtime. The second variable is service costs and spare parts. Service costs vary depending on the machine and its usage, but regular preventive maintenance will help to maximize the life of a system. Under a preventive maintenance contract, the machine supplier will visit the processor on a regular basis, determined by the application type, frequency of use, and the user's own standard operating procedures for equipment maintenance, verification, and calibration. For many, this will be once a quarter or twice a year. During these visits, a full system test will be conducted and parts identified which are due for replacement now or in the near future. Such visits also provide an opportunity for any new software updates to be installed, electrical and mechanical guards and safety systems to be reviewed, and refresher training for operators and maintenance personnel to be conducted. The third variable is whether the machine is engineered for food safety. To prevent microbiological contamination, processors must take special care in reviewing how equipment has been engineered and if it's consistent with their overall food safety strategy. Factors to consider include, are surfaces prone to bacterial collection and growth? Are areas flat or sloped in such a way to allow easy drainage during cleaning? How secure are the components needed to survive long-term in the processing or production environment? Systems which are engineered to ease maintenance and sanitation can lead to a lower TCO by promoting a faster turnaround in washdown and other cleaning routines. The fourth variable is the estimated life of the machine. Machines built with robust components are designed for longevity. X-ray or FA machines that are constructed with a particular processing or manufacturing environment in mind meet industry guidelines, including those for hygienic or sanitary design. As such, those components can withstand challenges in those environments and achieve more effective and often faster operation and sanitation, minimizing downtime and boosting efficiency. It's particularly important to factor in the replacement costs of a generator, along with other wear parts for the system's overall TCO. The estimated life of an X-ray or FA machine that's well-maintained often extends beyond a decade. However, it's important to note that the frequency and type of use, plus the user's consistent reinvestment into the asset through regular preventive maintenance service visits, will help to boost the longevity of the machine. The fifth variable is performance and technology. The accuracy of an X-ray or FA machine also adds value in a TCO analysis. In fact, technology is where the value of an investment can pay off, so it's important to determine how robust the technology is. Look out for technologies that are capable of more than just contamination detection and offer additional product integrity checks, such as spotting missing components or issues with mass and or weight. Additional features could be dual energy capability, which discriminates between organic and inorganic material by using a high and low energy spectrum to identify the atomic number of the product going through the beam. Systems which allow high-speed inspection optimize running time and performance. Traceback capability also enhances performance and helps operators lower their TCO. By using a machine with built-in software that includes a unique ID on each product, an operator can access the actual image for a certain day, month, year, or minute to view product integrity, thus saving the company from recalling complete batches. This capability also provides evidence that the product was contaminant-free when inspected, which can prove critical in the event of false claims. The sixth variable is ease of use. Ease of use impacts the life and cost of an X-ray or FA system, especially in harsh environments where sanitation is pivotal. By making systems easier for operators to use, labor hours can be saved over time, thus contributing to TCO goals. Features designed for greater ease of use include touchscreen-operated systems, which allow operators to easily and intuitively interact with an X-ray or FA machine without the need for long changeovers and unnecessary downtime. 
In addition, auto-learn routines make product setup and changeovers faster. Simple machine disassembly and reassembly, likewise, leads to shorter and easier maintenance, while a machine designed for unobstructed sightlines gives operators an opportunity to clearly supervise, clean, and maintain the device. The seventh variable is downtime risks. Processors and CPG companies would probably agree that beyond the cost of a recall, production line downtime is the most costly risk to the manufacturing process. Every minute counts throughout the shift, so a change of parts or altering a machine's software setup when changing over products play into critical production minutes. Some X-ray machines come with operational sensitivities that may call for constant maintenance intervention, service, or technical support. However, equipment is available that's been engineered with multiple sensors to walk operators through quick operational fixes when or should they occur. This puts a much higher value in the TCO equation when flexibility and troubleshooting ease is put into the operator's hands. The eighth variable is footprint and integration. Processors know the value of the square footage of their processing plants and strive to get the most out of every square inch, including the highest productivity out of equipment. If X-ray or FA machines provide an array of data measures that enhance a processing line's performance, then the value of that equipment increases and makes the TCO more favorable. The idea is to maximize the data and efficiencies from the smallest of footprints. Future-proofing is vital when deploying an X-ray or FA system. Careful consideration must be given to the speeds in which the technology can support an operation with accurate data. It's important to ask if today's line speeds will increase over the coming years due to advances in processing equipment. If the answer is likely to be yes, then consideration must be given to whether the software has the flexibility to cope with higher production volumes in the future. Having to replace an obsolete technology early in the equipment's life will mean that the calculations acquired thus far would be useless and the TCO model would need to be reassessed. The definition of TCO varies depending on the user, the product being inspected, and the piece of equipment. TCO for X-ray and FA machines includes the investment cost and the life cycle cost of running the machine regularly and efficiently with preventive maintenance, spare parts, upgrades, robust performance, and ease of use. Analysis should be specific to each processor's operation. Just as an inefficient machine results in higher unexpected costs and lower production, an efficient X-ray or FA machine can improve product integrity, quality, and safety in a more cost-effective and profitable way. By working closely with trusted partners, processors, and CPG companies can be assured that a product inspection program aligns with their individual needs and requirements as they evaluate capital investments in an X-ray or FA system. For more information on Eagle Solutions with the lowest total cost of ownership in the industry, visit www.eaglepi.com solutions. Thank you, and if you'd like to stay up to date with the latest product inspection trends, just follow us on social media. Connect with us on LinkedIn, follow us on Twitter at Eagle X-Ray, follow us on Google+, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.